Welcome back to the GGWP, the Gaming News Weekly Podcast, number 10 this week. And boy, do we have uh, some interesting stuff. But anyways, I'm a co-host, Tazen, and my other co-host is... Gaklish. What's going on, pipes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number 10. Double digits now, man. Oh, shit. How you feel about that, double digits? It's been... Um... Nah, it felt short. Yeah. It felt... Yeah, it honestly, <laughs> it has felt short. Even though we took, like... We kind of um segment, uh, you know, kind of double weeks and stuff too. Or it'll be double like, weeks. Yeah. Took a few like week breaks here and there. I, I yeah. should have been double digits earlier, but shit happens. Um, but yeah, we here now. What have uh we been playing? Let's. Uh, what have you been playing? What have I been playing? Oh, what have I been playing? All right. Uh, this week, um, besides um Minecraft Dungeons, which. We basically finish and we're like max level and all that shit. Not level, you know, power level and stuff. Um, I've been playing, I played a little bit of uh, the Twitch game, the 51 games. I forgot what it's called. Whatever. But the 51 games that just came out. Um, yeah, I played some of that. They have like speed on there, president. If you guys don't know what president or speed is, they're card games. Um, president, if you're Asian, it's like bomb. But then you play for placement and you swap cards. It's a really fun game. Um, it's nice to see it because you can play online and have it has like a competitiveness since you're playing online, I guess, theoretically. Even though, Even the though rules, they play it wrong. Yeah, yeah, the rules are different. <laughs> <laughs> AKA they play it wrong. Yeah, and it has like Mancala too, um, which they, the rules are also different there when they play it. It's, a, it's fun. 51 games, $40. Um, it launched this week, I think the 6th or something. The 6th or the 5th, one of the two. Was that this week or was that last week? That might have been last week, yeah. Oh, yeah, Friday, Saturday. Time period. Yep. But, yeah, um, I played a little bit of that. That's pretty much all I played. Um, Noise. I mean, I played I play a little more Rocket League, too, actually. That's, oh, yeah. You do that. yeah, still fun. Rocket <clears> League is Rocket League. Look at the league. Yeah. That's nice. What you been playing? Uh, I have just been playing uh Minecraft Dungeons, obviously. MCD. Um, the McD uh That's probably yeah, I don't think I've played any other games. I'm trying to think. Yeah, no, I don't think I played any other games. Like, I didn't even... I, I don't think I touched, like, Animal Crossing, like, this whole week. I kind of, like... I don't want to say give up, but I'm not making it, uh like, a priority anymore. Same, um, same. Especially since now it's, um... Well, as you guys would see, um coming up in the news, but there's a lot of stuff coming out, so I'm going to try to finish uh majority of... A lot not of majority, yeah. Try to finish some of my back so. backlog before... <laughs> yeah um, all this lit shit comes out so i can actually play it yeah um yeah so probably just yeah just minecraft dungeons we've been playing a lot of that obviously as the homie clutch said uh we're everyone is pretty much max level max power level almost we pretty much have like max gear it's just a matter of like finding the right weapons we want with the good enchants and such right, right. um yeah that's probably all i've been playing this yeah. week Excited for the DLC for that um, coming July. Oh, yeah. I know last oh, week we did say we didn't. We said we didn't. We weren't sure if it was gonna come out in July, but I reread the news and it is coming out in July. So bad, <laughs> bad uh, research on my part. But I did put it in the thumbnail, so it says July in the thumbnail. So there you go. Yeah. If you so guys were confused, look at the like what? Well, they're not sure if it's July, but it's in thumbnail. Yeah, it is for sure in July. I'm just not sure when. Um, Zalu, the homie Zalu said, uh, possibly June, July 31st, end of July. So there you go. Shout out to Zalu once again. But, but it means July is July. Yeah, July is July. Um, so, I did. I do wish they would come out with this slightly earlier, just because if you played uh, that game for a month straight, you pretty much uh, <laughs> finished it. So I don't know. Yeah. I mean, 
it's just it's the Fortnite effect where if they give us an update every month, then we're gonna expect it, and then when they don't come out with the, then we're gonna you know we talked about it last yeah. week, but I guess it's good that they're waiting. It's just yeah. my selfishness that wants it to come out. I think, and plus, most people aren't like us. <laughs> they yeah, probably play true. at a moderate <laughs> place or pace rather than fucking twelve hours every fucking yeah. day. Yeah, like every time we we've played Minecraft Dungeons, if we we have a full squad, we've played for like over six hours. Yeah, it's if we have a full crazy. squad. Yeah, not crazy. That last dungeon effect, man. One more, one more. Yeah, one, one more. more. Oh one damn, more. I didn't get it, yo. Let's grind for this piece of armor. <laughs> yeah. Once again. Uh oh yeah, and um, DLC price for that is ten dollars. Um, confirmed by Zalu once again because he's bought. Um, you could buy it already and get like a chicken and a cape. He said. Yeah, you get a chicken that follows you around, and then you get a cape that you can wear. Yeah. And you get like a few other characters that are locked. Oh okay. Yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. So there you go. Um, if you're interested in ten dollars Minecraft DLC, Minecraft Dungeon DLC. Minecraft Dungeon. Yeah. So right. should we hop right to the big shit or? Yeah, straight away, straight to the big stuff, man. I mean, to the big I'm sure you guys know this event just happened today. But as, as you guys we are, speak, yeah. But if you guys are listening, it's obviously a day later. A day. Later. So a lot of this shit is already out, but still hype as fuck. Um, you know, still got adrenaline from the event. Yeah, the so, the event. What event are we talking about, Tazen? <laughs> we got the PS Five event, though. PS Five event. Yeah, the PS Five event. It happened um on Thursday. June eleventh, um, one o'clock PTD, whatever that means. I'm assuming that's specific. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically uh, yeah. <laughs> How did the event go, Jason? <laughs> it was great. Okay, well, to me, it was. It's it is it's, it's it is exciting. Because, like, uh, it's like PlayStation, and we fuck with PlayStation Heavy. Super but heavy. the stuff they announced, which we'll get into, uh, like, some of it is, like, just here and there for me. Because, uh, like, a lot of stuff they announced aren't, like, my cup of tea, really. Right, right, right. But it's, it's still hype regardless. Because it's PlayStation. Like we said, we fucks with it. Um, yeah, what, do you, what did you think about just a quick overview of the event, I guess. Quick overview of the event. I uh, loved it. Ah, uh, I gotta say, <laughs> um, oh yeah, I got um, I liked it because um, from what I've seen at least, like with the Nintendo Direct, um, it's I've only watched like one or two Nintendo Directs, and usually I watch the Smash Nintendo Directs. If you don't know what Nintendo Direct is, it's just um, basically this. Um, Nintendo announcing games and shit or talking about specific games or stuff they're working on. It's like E3, but for Nintendo. Nintendo, online. yeah. Yeah. They just release news and shit pretty much. Yeah, yeah, that release news. About the Switch. Yeah. It's their GGW. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, compared to like what I've seen from them, at least from what I've seen when they're doing like, I guess it's the way they do it in this event, it is different, but I'm just going to compare it for the sake of comparing them. Um, I like the PS5, this PS5 event, because it was um, straight to the point. It was like, boom, oh, yeah. here's a gameplay trailer. Um, or not a gameplay trailer. Here's a trailer for this game. Trailer. Boom, next game next game trailer. And then maybe they, have, they stop and they have like one or two sentences of the developers talking about it. Basically, just announcing like, "Hey, I'm you know the John Doe, and this is our game, whatever." And it it didn't really like stop and like they didn't talk about the game, how they developed it and stuff for like a good ten minutes, and then cut to the trailer. I mean, you know, I for me personally, I like that like bam, 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 like you know, just right after another. So I like that how it's just quick and to the point. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Not like. Didn't drag on. We didn't feel like it dragged on. So, 
yeah that quick i guess not yeah quick into the point um like like uh news or stuff like that is i guess oh like i, I like that better too because yeah it's quick into the point like it gets to the stuff you actually want to see rather than them talking about uh how they developed this one mechanic for three years you know yeah, yeah um yeah, yeah so uh, to me it was uh quick into a point which is which is why i like but um let's hop straight into the the first i guess announcements throughout the event um gta 5 is coming to the ps5 yes. and it's gonna be free at launch but you need ps playstation plus um and then every mil you get one mil in game currency until the ps5 launches Dang. or releases one mil one million one mil. every month bro bro that's that's a lot of months <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't, what, what, how, shit. yeah how it's one that, mil yeah. every month for unfortunately it's only on the playstation 4 though so you have to have the game on the playstation so you can't i don't think you can have like a pc and it'll work in that regard yeah 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 but yeah that that's that was super exciting news the, the fact that they they kind of um started the event off with gta 5 because they talked about how gta 5 obviously it's kind of synonymous you know anonymous sunan synonymous synonymous i think that's the word with um kind of the playstation 4 because it's sold hella fucking a lot on playstation 4 so yeah. the fact yeah the fact that it's they, they're kind of paying homage to it kind of yeah. saying hey you know you know this is such a big game on the playstation 4 it's obviously it's coming to the playstation 5 and it's uh gonna be litty litty because litty, you get a litty. bunch of free shit with it <laughs> yeah so it, that's uh, yeah yeah that was cool seeing that on there yeah it like a mil is like it's not that much but it's like it's enough to like like it's it's nice to have like it's yeah. not a lot in gta like you can go through like a million in like an hour of playing probably yeah, yeah. But it's so nice to have because, like, it's just obviously it's free in game money, and who the fuck wouldn't want that? Like, I'm pretty sure if you had like a lot, like hundreds of millions, you would, I would still take that million. Um, but yeah, I don't know, free, free money, free game. Um, who doesn't like that? Yeah, I mean, there's what's not to like from this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. all, all good stuff. So, you know what's crazy? What? GTA 5 is going to be on three generations. Holy shit. You're right, dude. That's just hitting me now. That's crazy. Holy fuck. Right? Yeah. PS3, PS4, PS5. That's crazy. Holy God shit. damn. What game has been on three generation of consoles? And, is, and has been thriving. Yeah. And it's still going like hard. Like Yeah. GTA 5 is still one of the highest selling games too on the PlayStation. Oh. It is yeah. insane. Like that's, that's insane. Like, crazy. Holy I shit. literally thought about. I was like, oh yeah, PS4, and I was like, wait, I had that shit on PS3 too. So I was like, dude, five, three generations. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's and people crazy. still play it like crazy too. It's not like yeah. it's. Yeah, people still play. You still get like millions of players logged on and shit. Oh, that is crazy. So yeah, that, that's I a guess kind of neat, kind of yeah, neat uh, Easter egg there. Neat. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're just we're we're late to the party or whatever. But I don't know. It's it's just didn't really think about it, and it's crazy to think that a game has been a three generation of consoles. I don't know. Yeah. It's it's like I still can't really process it. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's kind of funny too. Cause a lot of people in the comments are like, "Oh, GTA Six, GTA Six," and I was like, "No, that shit's not happening." <laughs> <laughs> you guys obviously don't watch GGWP because. <laughs> If you yeah, did, damn you know. scrubs, you still get informed with your weekly news. Yeah, you still got yeah. a couple of weeks, yeah, or a couple uh, of years, yeah, a couple, couple weeks. of years, yeah, yeah, a couple of years, a couple, uh, couple of years, yeah. yeah, you fucking scrubs, yeah, because they're, they're just like in the super early debate, yeah, but that's crazy. Ooh, GTA 5 with the that's cool, yeah, that's actually super cool, yeah, right. 
Yeah. I mean, GTA 5 is definitely broken hella records. Oh, yeah. And it's it's going to break even more records with this. Oh, yeah, for sure. For uh, sure. Um, all right. That's a nice little segue. Not really into the next one. But Perfect segue. <laughs> this specific, this next game trailer that we saw in the event was um a homie a brother that slings webs and he calls himself miles morales spider-man spider-man oh what did you think yo that was crazy the fact that they opened with like gta and kind of giving you like a little yeah you know we're um still going to be supporting in ps5 blah 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 whatever and then it just cuts straight to fucking you see um if you see the trailer, he's like shot. Yeah, if you yeah, if you guys saw, like, yeah, if you guys his didn't armor see, or if his fucking clothing is ripping off, yeah. and then at first I was like, who is that? Who is that? And then when it got it, it, it reached when you could see his chin. As soon as I saw his chin, I was like, oh shit, that's fucking Miles. I know it, and I started <laughs> popping off like I just want evil. And then my girlfriend's like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I was like, oh, oh shit, that's Spider-Man, bro. That's oh, fucking Miles. And then I was popping off, and she was just like, dude, what is happening? Uh, shit, that's uh, funny as hell. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, dude, hell. legit. I was like popping off, and then oh, I was so hyped because if you get, I I guess we haven't really talked about it that much. But um, yeah, I, I played Spider-Man, Marvel, Spider-Man, uh, the Somnic playstation 4 exclusive it's just called spider-man so i don't know how to say. <laughs> people, people call it just marvel spider-man but yeah um yeah i played it i loved it um played all the dlc too um yeah it was a great game uh so i'm super hyped about about fucking spider-man miles morales because spoiler alert he's in the game <laughs> <laughs> yeah i should hope so i mean uh <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's crazy. I I I didn't play the Marvel Spider Man. Oh, um, Tazen. <laughs> now you I have don't, to, now, now I you don't have plan to do on it. I don't plan. No, I, I'm now only you have to do a gameplay, game. man. That the uh, fans wanted. Uh, it. Yeah, uh, it was. It's still like I guess it's the it's cool to see just because I know like Spider Man, the Spider Man. Uh, uh, the, I guess the or whatever the exclusive one I I was trying to like figure out what to call it, um, the Marvel Spider Man yeah I knew that was like a big hit just in general, yeah um especially with like Clutch and my other brother they like love the game um they're like super hype telling me to play but I I I don't know I I don't know I don't want to play and uh <laughs> but yeah I knew it was hype so I was like seeing this like I knew right off the bat like even though I don't I didn't play the game or like I don't yeah. Like, I guess I don't keep up. As soon as I saw, like, that arm reaching out, I was like, yo, this has got to be Spider-Man. And then, like, it slowly pans up to his face, and I'm just like, I fucking knew it. Because you could, like, right when it gets to, like, his chest, you could kind of see in the background, like, his suit. Yeah. I was like, I fucking knew it, dude. Like, right off the bat, I was like, I knew it. Yeah. Um, Tazen called it right away, and I was like, man, how did he know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny, though, because at first, like, I was like, I, don't, I thought it was maybe, like, a, because, I don't know, the arm... Like the, I guess like the arm brace. It kind of looked like uh like a Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman's brace for a second. Right, right, yeah, yeah. But then like I don't know, my head like it just popped into my brain, and then like my like it just words just came out and it was Spider Man. But then I thought about it again. I was like, yeah, those gone, those fucking arm guards kind of look like Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman. So I thought maybe it was like a DC game or some shit like that. But um, nope, it was Spider Man. Which thank God it was, I, I called it correctly. But um. Yeah, it's it's cool to see. It's it, like, yeah, it's. I can imagine the hype was like so real because I mean, like I said, I know a lot of people fucks with the game. So, yeah, I think I didn't guess it right away. It was because it um, I didn't expect them to open with such a banger. Like it was. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, that's. I mean, Spider Man was um up there for game of the year, but obviously, if you know, God of War won. But those two are probably the biggest Sony exclusives um, slash biggest games of that year, 2019. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 2019? 2018? 2018? 29? No, it's 2018. 19. Gotta work on 18. 2018, yeah. Two years ago? 
Was it? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. It. Last year was Sekiro, and then oh, yeah. the year before, twenty eighteen. Yeah, yeah. So twenty eighteen, those two were probably the biggest, two of the biggest games. Um, in general, even though they're just exclusive, yeah, PS four exclusive. But yeah, the fact that they opened it with that, I was just like crazy, mind blown. Yeah, but um, it does seem like it's a new game because it's called Spider Man Miles Morales, at least from the trailer. So yeah. it does seem like maybe they're not putting Spider-Man in there, but it's just a Miles Morales game because it's set to launch, you know, holiday 2020, which is, you didn't know, Coming pretty fucking quick. fast. Yeah. It, I mean, guys, we're already halfway through 2020. Yeah. So, so it's pretty crazy. Um, I wonder if it's going to launch with the PS5 or not. I, I, yeah, I, su- I would have to assume it does. Because just because that's I don't know why you wouldn't I guess because there's no point in launching like the PS5 and then waiting like a month and then launching the game you would want to launch it with the system those cells drive up and people want to buy your system just speculating um, because obviously the PS5 is set for holiday 2022 yeah but it's it's nuts I mean I, I'm super psyched to get the fucking PS5 now. Now that I know there's a good launch game. <laughs> Assu- I'm assuming it's a launch game. But yeah, I'm super hyped for it now. Because <laughs> I was going to get the PS5 regardless, you know. But then yeah. I was just like, if there's no good launch game, I'm just going to get it just to get it. <laughs> but <laughs> but now I know there's oh, going to be like at least a, a good game coming out. Um, If not launch game, then like a month later. Yeah, later. It, it will like come out soon with it yeah so super high uh yeah so damn so ps5 sure knows how to open up a damn event um oh hell yeah yes yeah um that that's crazy all right next on the game trailers after spider-man spider-man we got Something to do with cars, and it was <laughs> Fast and Furious Crossroads. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's crazy! Oh, <laughs> oh man, my God. When they came out with just the guns blazing, bro. Oh. <laughs> Literally, the other our other podcast, uh, number eight. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm just fucking around. It was a uh, Gran Tur- Turismo Seven. Gran Turismo. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What What do you think? What do you think? Yeah. I, I'm not a bad, big fan of Gran Turismo. Um, I, I know they stopped making it for a while. But, um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure people are hyped about it. People call it, like, the best simulator uh, fucking racing game or whatever. Driving simulator. But I, it's all right. I mean, I've never personally, I've never played it. But it looks cool, I guess. I just know it's hype for a lot of people out there. So Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I'm kind of the same way. Uh, I not i wasn't like never got into like gran turismo series or like even really played it but the little bit that I did play i it's too like you said is the best like simulator out there which to me is like it's too real so it doesn't make it fun yeah I, you know I, like yeah. it's like you spin out every three seconds it's like yeah. i don't know it's just too real to where i don't like it you know i like that like yeah the real but like fake too like the like need for speed i don't know they do a good balance of it yeah, um, arcadey driving. Car. Yeah, 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 kind of, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I can. I mean, it's it's number seven. Obviously, there's a like, they still got fans out there. Um, there's a market out there for them. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they're all hype. Um, just as um, Clutch was when Miles Morales came out. Hmm. Oh, nobody was as hype as me, Tayson. <laughs> <laughs> I started wrecking yeah. shit. <laughs> oh yeah, I can tell, man. <laughs> I can tell. You. Oh shit! Oh my yeah. god! Break your monitor. Can't even watch the rest of the event. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> break my monitor. Pull it up on my phone. Break my phone because I'm still so hyped. <laughs> so like, oh my god, yeah. Um. But yeah, uh, the third game, I guess, quote unquote, green trailer, because the first one was just announcement. I would say, um. Gran Turismo, um, that's cool, hype. Everything about this was hype, uh, regardless if the game, we we don't play the game or whatever, um, still hype, just because it's a PS5 event, it's huge. There was like 2 million people, that, at least when I saw, like, they probably peaked even higher than that. Like, 2 million people watching. 
this fucking event. Um, it was a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that's next game trailer. We got Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Rift Apart. What you, what you think about Ratchet and Clank Arena? It's uh, it's the same way. I feel the same way. Um, Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> <laughs> I know, okay, the thing about Rashi and Clink is it's kind of uh, nostalgia-based, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because I think true. this is like the, they haven't come out with Ratchet and Clink for, I, I think there was a PS4, a remake of it. But um, yeah, it, it's kind of a nostalgia because the OG Ratchet and Clink games, so I didn't I, I didn't play those growing up. Uh, but yeah, it, this game looks cool, but um, I personally don't know if I'll pick it up. But hey, who knows? But it, it does look cool. Yeah. Um. I would. I yeah. Me too. I'm like. I never played it. I like known it was like, kind of like an OG game or whatever. But um. I don't know. I've never played it. Now, I wasn't like too hyped. But I mean, um. I don't know. I yeah. Not much of a reaction out of me. Too much. But um. Obviously, all these games like. Are hype because people definitely want to play them. Yeah, yeah, they, they definitely threw um a lot of bangers in the beginning because I know people have been asking for more Ratchet and Clank Gran Turismo, so it's yeah, def- the, like these might not we might not be super hype about them, but I know the community is. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So if we don't sound so enthusiastic, it's just <laughs> <laughs> we just have a slightly different taste. But yeah, um, it's just different taste. Yeah, yeah, like. Uh... Yeah, it's not that we hate the game or none, man. Like, it's just yeah, different tastes. Yeah, um, different tastes. So, but I mean, we put it on the news just because we know people out there do like it. So, yeah, and plus, yeah, we got to make sure to cover the whole last event. It's like the event of the uh, the the year. Um, <laughs> yeah, even though even though we left some games <laughs> off the list, <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to know they didn't watch it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of just put the big ones on the list, you know, just because. Yeah every single game list would be too long yeah yeah there were like a lot of like small small games like yeah a lot of new um, ones yeah which i'm soon i'm sure in the future they'll maybe get bigger but as of right now they're still small (laughs) and what else is small the next gameplay trailer or not gameplay trailer but the next trailer i'm not trying to pull uh uh, valhalla here Um, (laughs) <laughs> the next trailer, we got what I personally was probably the most hyped for, oddly enough. Um, oh, Tayson getting hyped for this? Like, I don't like everything that was announced, I would say. This is probably what I was, like, the most hyped for. Like, even more hyped than the PS5 itself. <laughs> what um, the fuck? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, it It's Sackboy. A big adventure! Sack boy! You like it in the sack? <laughs> sack boy? Hey, yeah, I like a little sack boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah this, this one was cool because when they started off, they show, you know, he's like, he has like a tiger costume on. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what? They're making a game for uh, uh, Kel- Kelvin and the Hobbs? Hobbs and Hobbs. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Kelvin and Hobbs. Kelvin and the Hobbs, yeah. And I was like, what's up? they got Hobbs in here or <laughs> some <So>, shit? <laughs> they got Hobbs? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. it was like, boom, sack boy. I was like, oh, shit, okay. Yeah, and it, I I don't know. I guess I don't keep up with the games, but I feel like it's been a oh, hot minute since I've seen a Sackboy game at all, or like anything to do with Sackboy. Oh yeah, for sure. I think the studio that um made Little Big Planet. If you get, I guess if you guys don't know, Sackboy is from Little Big Planet. Yeah, um, he's which like was, the yarn. Yeah, the brown yarn. yarn guy that has a zipper. He was um, kind of. They try to make him like a um like a Mario esque. For like yeah. Sony, you know, like the cutesy, like a uh, like uh, minions, or you know, like the cutesy thing where kids just can the, yeah, like a yeah. like the the cartoon cartoon model for PlayStation or right. like yeah yeah the yeah he was there for a while, but then um they haven't made a little Blake pattern forever. I think the last one was uh I don't even know if they had one for PlayStation Four. I don't feel like they did. Yeah, I don't think they did. Yeah, I think it was all for PlayStation they... 3, but yeah. now Sackboy is getting his own game, which it kind of has reminiscence of um, Little Big Planet, but it's 
it's not Little Big Planet. So it's more like you play as Sackboy and you go on an adventure. It's kind of like a a platformer, um, yeah, co-op platformer because you can play for up to four people. So I mean, don't don't expect Little Big Big Planet if. I mean, obviously, go check the trailer out for yourself. Don't don't just <laughs> listen to this and be like, "Oh, cool." Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, go, go check out the trailer for yourselves. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, wait, why why are you so hyped about it? I guess I've never heard you express your um love for Sackboy. Sack, I love Sackboy, man. You know, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why they gave up on. I guess I gave up, but I don't know why they stopped uh, making him the like mascot for a uh, PlayStation. Yeah. So I feel like it was working, uh, at least for me. Yeah, like, it worked on me. Um, I don't know. It was weird. But uh, I don't know. It's like, I guess for me, it, like, brought back the time when we, like, we played at our friend's place. Yeah, um, yeah. I remember kinda, those times. Yeah, we squatted up on Little Big Planet, and we just, like, fucked around and did stupid shit. And I don't know. It was really fun. And, like, I, I've always wanted to play, like, I guess, get Little Big Planet, but we never really got around to it. Or, like, I never got around to getting it whatever but um yeah i i don't know it's just i guess like almost like a sense of nostalgia in a way right um and yeah uh i feel like yeah i feel like he's just been been neglected man he's, has been shown love any like been shown love lately and you know yeah he's gotta know he got love out here man yeah the game definitely looks fun. Um, I don't know if maybe if the homies are down, you know, buy it and do a gameplay of it. Um, we don't all don't have to buy, it, but maybe just like one person, and then we all can just squad up at that person's house yeah. and play. That that'd be fun because it'd be like Nairo when Nairo played um the fucking Mario game, 3D yeah. Mario with like Sansora and them. That was cool. I was like, yeah, yeah, shit, we should do something like that. But, yeah. Yeah, shout out to Nairo if y'all don't know him. He's yeah, also nice. he's also a homie, <laughs> and by homie I mean we are fans of him. Yep, exactly. Um, part of the Naifu Nation. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, Sackboy is hype. Um, definitely excited. You guys should get excited for it too. Um, next we got. Hit the man reborn. Uh no. Uh we got reborn. <laughs> <laughs> we got um hella underrated uh, uh anime series by the way. Y'all should go watch it. Oh hell yeah. Hella underrated. Hit it's so, reborn. It's the so beginning good. is super slow, all right? But <laughs> I promise you it picks up. It gets better. Uh but yeah, it's hella hella good. Anyways. Which by uh, the way, let's let's talk about how <laughs> how Tazen he watched um a little bit of him and reborn in the beginning and he absolutely hated the shit out of it he was like this is the dumbest fucking anime ever and then later when they got like halfway through and they got good and then he started like he was like all right this is pretty cool and he started, started watching it with me <laughs> well if you watch it you would understand <laughs> <laughs> that's just i always thought that was so funny. okay this is so funny because tazen he's like he's never okay this is back then now it's obviously different but back then he never watched any anime from the beginning like Never. Bleach, he didn't watch it from the beginning because it was stupid. He watched from like the fucking Soul Society arc up, and uh, Naruto he didn't watch from the beginning, which I don't think. Have you ever watched Naruto at all? Uh, to I completion. honestly, I this is back when I was uh, wanna be, I guess I still am, but wanna be weeb or whatever. But yeah, I I kept up with it for, um, I kept up with it, but I. <laughs> I lost and I didn't lose interest, but like I was to the point where I was caught up, like manga wise. So I have to wait. And then oh, right. this is back when we lived in a small town and we didn't have internet, so we have to go to the library. And uh, ah, the library. Yeah, it was good, uh, good days. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, I so like I is getting to the interwebs was hard, so like couldn't keep up, and then I just didn't keep like keep up with it anymore. And then I like. Started, I like eventually like grew up, watched other animes, realized Naruto was shit, and then Amen. Never kept up with <laughs> it ever again. Um, plus, like when you don't watch anime, like the only one you really ever hear about is Naruto, so you like just watch it. And like 
when you haven't seen other animes. Now, though, it's not, I guess, not terrible. Like, it, it'll get you, like, hooked into it. Like, it'll get you watching. But um, when you've seen other animes, you're like, oh, hell no. I ain't going back to this yeah. shit. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, I, yeah, I've kept, yeah, I've kept over it. But yeah, I didn't start that from the beginning. Um, and then, yeah, oddly enough, the longest anime series ever. I started from the beginning. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. The The point of this story was, the funny thing is, he started One Piece from the beginning, and he's watched all the way from z- zero to fucking 903,000. <laughs> it's 982 right now. Yeah, 982, <laughs> and he reads it. He's, yeah, on the, he's kept up the on the manga. So yeah, yeah, I, th- I think that's just hilarious how he, like, never started any of these other manga or uh, animes from the beginning, but then, like, the longest one he watches straight from, like, front to back. Crazy. But it just shows you how good One Piece is. Spoiler, we're going to talk about it later. <laughs> oh, it's real good. Uh, last chapter, oh my god, so hyped. Yeah. Next chapter, even more hyped. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, back to what we were talking <laughs> yeah, about. Back to the news. <laughs> uh, go watch it, Marimor. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the news. All right, that's it was news. signing uh, off. See ya. No, no, no. Uh, Hitman, if you haven't guessed by now, Hitman 3. Um, yeah, coming out January 2021. 20, Not 2020, because obviously we passed that. So, uh, 2021, yeah. Um, next year, pretty much. Not that long, only like seven months away. Um, but yeah, we got next year, Hitman 3. If, um, you know, you guys are excited for it, yeah, y'all have to wait a little longer than uh, Miles Morales. But what are your thoughts, Mr. Klitsch? Um, Look good. I mean... It looks like um, the Hitmans are always good. So, I mean, I played a little bit of um, Absolution, I think it's the call. Um, and I fucking sucked at it. I think that's the one with... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the one with the, the painting shit where you... I think that's the episodic one. I don't even know. Whatever whatever it is, I played the episodic one where you have to go into the, the generic... The painting, the fashion show. Um, the one that you always see. The fucking mission that you always see everybody play. The one where you enter the fashion show and you have to kill this guy. You could either make him sushi or make the chandelier fall on him or some shit. I played that one. I fucking sucked at it. And I uh, honestly, I got discarded from ever playing Hitman's ever again because <laughs> it's so fucking hard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, credits to a lot of people for if you're good at that game. That game is, it, it seems like it's easy, you're right? Wear this disguise, go murder some dude. But it's actually pretty hard. Like you actually have to be a Hitman and you have to think about, think shit through. So, um. Looks good, but I don't know if I'm gonna play it that much just because I trash at it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I I've never got into the Hitman series. I it looks like when I first seen it or watched it, like it looked like did look interesting, like the idea of like a Hitman, pretty much. But and like you said, it does look easy. I've never tried it, but obviously from what like Clutch said and um other videos, it's pretty. I'm pretty sure it's challenging. Um. But I've always seen it, like, I've always seen, like, the cover, and, like, it's always, like, drawn me in. Like, I always pick up the yeah. cover, like, when I go to, like, um, stores and shit, but yeah, never, like, actually picked it up, picked it up. Yeah, and plus Agent 47, he just looks badass. The fucking barcode on his bald head. He has the fucking <laughs> tux with the red tie, you know? Yeah. But, uh, like a suit, I guess, not really a tux. Suit with the red tie. And plus, um, what really got me hooked was when they did the... Um, cinematic trailer of the nuns coming to the motel and like fucking trying to kill him, and he's just like fucking wrecking them. Do you remember that um cinematic trailer? Uh, no, no, I don't. I do not be honest. I don't remember. Oh, that shit is lit. Y- yeah, you gotta check it out. After the or he's the nuns come in and they think they're badasses and they try to fuck him up, and he's just like, no, you fucking bitches, and he just fucking destroys all of them. That it's one of the best cinematic trailers I've ever seen. Yeah. Next, next to like Witcher stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Witchers have really good cinematic trailers. That's true. That's true. Like the Witcher 2, um, the one where the the bald dude, the I guess I'm not gonna spoil it, but the the bald dude, he's um Yeah, he's on the boat and then he throws the ice potion and when I first saw that trailer, I was like, Man, what game is this? This is lit. And I found out it was Witcher 2 and I was like, yo, no wonder. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's 
the, the, I love cinematic trailers. It gives me unreal expectations, though, but I love them. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. Cool. That's very true. Yeah, they're so fucking cool. You're, that you're always like, damn, I can't like, can't wait to play. That shit's hype, but um, you play and it's like not like that at all, yeah. obviously. But it's obviously cinematic trailers are just to get you hyped, so you want to play the game. True. Which it works. Um, like Batman Arkham Origins. Remember when he's fighting a uh, Deathstroke? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And he's like boom, 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 and then motherfucker, and then uh, yo, that shit. That that one's lit too. All cinematic trailers are just cool as fuck. Yeah, dude. all cinematic trailers, <laughs> cool as fuck. It don't if matter. Ever, if yeah, game, really. if you love games or you like games, now if you just like games, just check out cinematic trailers, like best cinematic tra- video game trailers. Oh, you're gonna get so hyped, dude. It's, it's just like, they're so good. Yeah, it's cool to see. Like I guess like that world be put in like a movie yes like scenario yeah you know like yeah. I, I like yeah i don't know it's crazy because um even like like league when they do cinematic shit like it's so good oh. like it looks so good yeah league like, dude that's one reason why i wanted to play league because the cinematic yeah. trailers look so like good. it's so good like it's so good yeah so uh like yeah, i remember league. when we watched um lcs as i was a call league central yeah 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 league central no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just league championships oh league championships <laughs> wait lcs what, yeah. Is the S just ship? Ship, yeah, I'm pretty oh, okay. sure. Yeah. <laughs> League Central ship. <laughs> like, <laughs> the LCS, like, um, I remember watching the, like, fucking 2014 one where, like, the the players turned into their characters and they're, like, running, trying to get on top of this tower and they're fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah. that was genius. I was like, dude, that's so fucking cool. Like, imagine if you're watching Smash and they do a cinematic trailer where... Fucking Nairo turns into Palutena and starts fighting <laughs> fucking yeah. Leo. That's fucking Joker. You know that'd be Joker, so cool. Yeah, huh? and yeah they're like that trying would be to cool. rush up to the tower or something. Like that. That, that, yeah, that would that would be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Even though seeing yeah. Nairo as a Palutena would be weird, but hey, kind of weird. It works though because <laughs> they they like low key did that again in like a last year or like two years ago for um pro players and. Like obviously they do based on like the characters they play, and then this like obviously it's uh, all males that play in the LCS. Not because female can't, but they just not in it. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah, uh, the guy he turned into a female character. I I don't remember. I, I want to say like it was like Akali or Syndra or Lissandra. Three characters. I'm pretty sure it was Lissandra. I think, but okay. yeah. Um, it, it it can work, yeah. But it, you're right. It would be funny to see Nairo turn into right. um, Palutena, Palu, Palu. Yeah, but it, it would also be like, yeah, hello, cool. Just just to see, because like it really immerses like the two, like you know, yeah, yeah. putting putting a pro in a game that they play. It's like it really connects the two and like immerses you into like the the world or like makes it feel really real and it's kind of yeah. cool. I mean, it's just like a, a basketball player and their number too. You know, sometimes you oh, can't yeah. think of a character without thinking of the pro. Like, like Zero is attached to Diddy, and like now Joker yeah. is attached to MK Leo. Yep. Yeah. And like, yeah. It, and Nairo is attached to Question Mark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess now it's kind of like Paulu, but back then it was like <laughs> um, Meta Knight. No, nah, nah, it's, it's Question Mark, man. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, that's true. He plays random. He won the quarantine <laughs> series. <laughs> With the question mark. Really I mean, true. that was the raw random. random series, but point is, he won. I didn't think he knew it was a random series. I think he was just going random. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. He, he didn't know it was random. He was just going yeah, because this is main man. Why the yeah. fuck would he play anything else? Uh, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, that's cool. Like Esam, you think of Esam, you think of Pikachu, stuff like yeah, that. Pikachu, yeah. Um, Sam Sora, Peach. Peach. Yeah. That shit. That shit is cool to me. I wish. Um. I do wish the um, Smash community got a little more uh, more love from Nintendo to do cool shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess they they might get like out like how, not in game love, but they get like a like a out game love. <laughs> like you know yeah. they get they got flown out to Japan to meet right. Sakurai for the invitational like, and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, like it's it's pretty it, like it, that's still really cool cool, but. Obviously, we mean more in the aspect of like in game or like, uh, yeah, in game pretty much. I mean, Some they can do cool game. cinematic trailers. I mean, look at uh, Smash Ultimate, the cinematic trailer where they all got snapped. I mean, that shit was cool. That's true. 
they'll just probably need to do like a slightly more realistic version yeah. i guess or just just look when they introduce a new character they that's pretty much a small cinematic oh yeah that's true it's all yeah. cool yeah yeah so they could definitely do it nintendo jump on, on that nintendo fuck what y'all doing get on there? that shit once again Not hire anything. us man y'all hire us we'll give you all the good hire ideas us. All you gotta do is just sponsor one video, one one podcast, man. Easy, bro. Even though we're not family friendly, bitch. Yeah, we'll take one one dollar. Yeah, a dollar, and y'all could take all our idea per minute. So it's gonna be a long, long video. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking be empty. That shit should take forever to render. It's already it already <laughs> takes forever to render the two hour oh, video. Shit. We do right. like a fucking twenty four hour video. Twenty four oh, hours you just talk. The fucking computer was fucking cra- like it Yeah, that shit would fucking would explode. explode. You would like hella need to upgrade your PC, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Or it would literally take like a month just to fucking render and then a month yeah. to upload to YouTube. Best case is like break that shit up. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways. Yeah. Uh, we were on that. Uh sidetrack for a bit. Next we got, if you guys can guess, which I highly doubt, unless you watch the thing. We got Village, and hidden inside yeah. is three eyes and a V, which is eight, and it leads to Resident Evil Eight. Resident Evil Eight? I thought you. I thought you were talking about Villager. <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> um. Yeah, Resident Evil Eight. What do you think? Reze, um, uh, I went to the bathroom during this uh, trailer, so honestly, I didn't even catch it. But oh, yeah, yeah. what I did see was, I think they had like a fucking witch or a vampire and like a werewolf. Yeah, it was something. Yeah, it was something like that. You honestly, I kind of glimpsed over it too. Yeah, but uh, well, I didn't glimpse over, it, but like I watched it, but like I like it just I, they, they didn't really have a story, right? They just kind of yeah, I didn't just, I didn't comprehend yeah. much, but then. The only like I guess super high part was like at the end when you saw I believe the character's name was Chris. Chris, um, yeah, Chris Redfield. Or like they said Chris. Some I think the guy was Chris. Yeah, yeah. Chris Redfield. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and th- obviously for then it's like oh my god, like that's fucking hype, like bro. But I don't play the Resident Evil series. I don't know much about it. Um, the close like. The one I know probably I won't say the most about or like seen the most is Resident Evil Seven, but that's only because like at the time I watched a lot of like streamers and shit and they played it on stream and shit. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah. Uh, Re- Resident Evil. 8, I mean, obviously, I know a lot of people are gonna be hyped for this shit. Um, yeah. Resident Evil series is fucking huge. Huge. Yeah, this. Um. Yeah, they didn't show much gameplay trailer, so we didn't. They didn't show any gameplay actually, so we don't know. But the cinematic trailer, yeah, it looks cool. I mean, I'm interested to see what the werewolf aspect or what appeared to be the werewolf aspect is because y'all don't know. I fucks with werewolves. We fucks with werewolves. Tear Fuck them vampires, bro. Vampires up. We're werewolf gang. Werewolf gang. W gang. <laughs> w gang. Yeah. Shout out to the homie day. Uh, yeah, Resident Evil 8 hype. Um, a lot of people definitely gonna want to play that or hype to say hype to play that once the PS5 comes out. Um, next we got a game we've talked on here before, probably like really early on. Um, but it's Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Horizon Zero Dawn 2. The Forbidden West. Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah. What what uh what'd you think of the cinematic trailer? Um, it looks cool. I mean okay, from my eyes it looks exactly like the first one because I haven't played the first one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um yeah. The fr- I thought the first one looked fucking cool. So this one looks just as cool. Yeah. Um I can tell the landscape, obviously the landscape's different because this one's called Horizon Forbidden West. But uh yeah, it looks cool. I guess that's what I got to say about it. Yeah, um yeah, it looks like seeing the cinematic trailer obviously it looks 
really nice and like it makes you feel like you want to like it made me feel like i want to play it yeah for sure. um as most cinematic trailer, but like yeah um this was like it's it was really a aesthetically pleasing like when they went to the water that water shot you see all the coral crystal oh, yeah. blue water and then like she's swimming then she looks up there's a ro- robotic alligator or whatever the fuck um it was like yeah super eye pleasing and uh it looked yeah super super nice thick and span clean um uh the the freaking girl she reminds me of someone but i couldn't think of it like Cause like uh, at the end, like she like the fucking robots or whatever are invading. It's like a robotic mammoth or whatever. Yeah. They're invading, and then like she like pulls her bow back, and she's like, "I want to fuck y'all up." And then she pulls her bow back, and then you can kind of see How are we gonna go get it now? Right. Yeah. 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 Fucking hands on. <laughs> Double dragon comes out. Damn. Yeah, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, her, I don't know. Her face reminds me of someone. I can't. I can't think. Of. Maybe if I go, I go watch it. And I try to figure it out. Throw it in the comments. But um, yeah, I know what you mean. She, yeah, I kind of. I feel like it's not too important. Yeah. Like I don't oh, know if it was like a, the yeah. um John Snow's girl, the outsider. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, because she has. She's like an archer, yeah. and she's a redhead. Yeah. At least for me, that's who it clicks with. Yeah, probably. I I have to go watch it again, but. That sounds about right. It was someone. It was either from a game or like a movie or TV show, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Probably not a TV show. Uh, maybe a TV, yeah, a TV show. Uh, but yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, she looked very familiar. But I don't know. I just want to throw that out there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it looked really cool. Um, I yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, now let's get into how the PlayStation Five looks. How does it look? I know, I know Taser has a lot to say. So, <laughs> so <laughs> at least when they showed it, it was sitting upright, not like flat or like horizontal. It was vertical standing. Um, and the one they showed was. Primer, I wouldn't say prim- yeah, primarily white with like a black inside. Um, <laughs> white with black inside. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, when I first saw it, I said, it looks like a goddamn Wi Fi router, man. <laughs> a Wi Fi router. Like, like, we, y'all creating uh, Wi Fi routers, sir? Uh, like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, like it's white. Like, does it is it only like upright? Like, can you set it horizontally? Yeah, what do you think? That. What do you think? What, what you got to say? About I this? okay. This is my this is my thoughts. I think you can set it down just because. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Because honestly, mm-hmm. setting it upright like that uh, that's actually kind of annoying. If you're trying to put it like in the cabinet, it's too fucking tall, you know. Yeah. Um, I think you can set it down. Like, if you look at the Wii, the Wii was advertised as just upright only, but you can set it down, which was what we did half the time. Um, we just threw the fucking stand away, which we we didn't. I'm joking, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, Fuck you, stand. I think even the PS4 was advertised as upright, but then we set it down too. Like, I, I, yeah. Mine's yeah. is upright now, but. Right. Yeah. That's because I have the God of War one, which is an axe, so it would look stupid if it was horizontal. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, if I have room, I guess I'll set it upright, but honestly, I. Other than that, I'll probably put it horizontal. I, I just assume. There, I don't feel like they'll force you to put it upright just because. I don't know why. I just yeah, feel like I'm they look- wouldn't. But I'm looking at it right now. And it does look like you could put it horizontally, but it would be weird. Yeah, like it would be weird. If you, the way that, like, the PlayStation logo is to the left, like, at least when they previewed it, it's like to the left. And then the disc insert thing cartridge is on the bot on the right side. So then if you lay it on the right side, the disc thing will be on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like on the bottom of the, yeah, on the, 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 the console. 
But you can't turn it the other way because I'm pretty sure that would be upside down, right? Because the logo is on the other side. So I'm pretty sure the, the way you would have to lay it flat is with the disc cartridge on the bottom. Right. Which, I don't know, to me that feels weird because it's like normally it's in the middle or like, I don't know. I guess it, it can be like that too. Right? But like the old ones, you have to click the button, it pulls out. So it kind of makes sense. But with this, you just shove the disc in. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure they, like, not everyone is going to want to probably put it upright. I mean, it's, it might save space and stuff, but uh, some people just like to set it down just in case it might fall over or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like, but, I mean, uh, most TV stands with, like, entertainment centers or whatever, they're mm -hmm. meant for stuff to be put in that aren't super high up. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I don't know. I mean, I mean, honestly, a lot of people have been doing just the like fucking. They put their, they hang their PS fours on the walls and shit, like right next to their TVs and stuff. Um, yeah. So I, I can see, but I mean, I guess either way, I don't mind. It's just I wish, if the, it is upright only, I wish they would give us that versatility of being able to put it down too. Yeah. But um, which I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how how do you feel about it being white, Taser? <laughs> I don't feel good about it being white. Why <laughs> why the hell is it white, man? Why not go gray, like back to the original color or whatever? Yeah, or make it silver. You fucking can't. Why white? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. And in, in it makes it feel like it get it gets dirty way easier. Um, I don't know. It yeah the. I mean, I like the console design way better than all the leaks and stuff, except yeah. for this one leak where it pretty much looked just like the PS4. But, um, <laughs> just a reskin uh, of the PS4. Yeah, pretty much. It was just white, but um, I don't know. I yeah, I don't like the white aesthetic. Uh, I'm just I'm black man, man. I like I like it black. He's a black boy. Yeah, I mean? um. I'm just gonna say, I uh, yeah, I prefer obviously. I don't. I think white is just synonymous with the Xbox for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I think when you think of PlayStation, you think black, and then when you think of um, Xbox, you don't think black, uh, white per se, but you think the opposite of a PlayStation, which is like not white. So like, white. It's not black. So like white. You know, because Xbox is the only one that's come out with the white console, like. Their fucking 360 was white. Their um, they had a white version pretty much all the consoles, but for PlayStation, they've never had a white console that wasn't like an exclusive. Like I think yeah. the only white console that I could think of was the Destiny, uh, Destiny One. I think the Destiny One one. So yeah, that, that I don't know. I don't know why they would change to white. I feel like it's useless like it's not useless but it's like why just why <laughs> yeah just I why feel i feels you um this kind of leads into i guess like lay last second news that i just got i don't know if it's gonna be i don't know if it's true or not but just got an update from our producer um no, sir. saying that uh, leaking images of a black PS5. A black and one? uh Miles Morales PS5 system. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, our producer sent it to us. Uh what'd you think? You think this is real or just like fake news? No, um, I I think it's fake news. I looked into it and it doesn't seem to be true because the source that they got it from um, I checked out the source, and it was, it's not, like, verified, I guess. Um, and then I went to check an official source, and they didn't put anything on it. So, I, I don't know. I think it's fake news, but it could be real. Mm -hmm. but I, I Yeah, I, I think. I personally, I think it's fake. Yeah. But it, it, it looks fire, though. I, <laughs> I'll say that. Shit looks fire. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't do black because the the picture that I'm looking at maybe we'll no nah, we're not gonna throw it on the screen we're not gonna fucking edit this shit um <laughs> just go look it up uh maybe we'll throw a link in the description if we remember um but the black looks so clean like the black 
system, like all black pretty much, and then just the blue lights, blue lights to like accent it. It's like that's like the cleanest shit ever. Why would you ever change that? Yeah, it looks pretty fucking clean. Well, it feels black, yeah. Yeah. Which I feel like they are like why would they not have a black version? I feel like they will. It just might come out like later or whatever. Or like it might be like the quote unquote pro edition or whatever the fuck. Um yeah. which I mean which would is smart of them because like uh like if obviously if I'm a gay one, I'm not I'm not gonna get the white one because why the fuck would I want the white one? Um and plus, like, a Pro Edition is going to be better than the regular one, so I'll get the Pro Edition. Plus, it's black, so it looks aesthetic better. But maybe they come, they make it come out as a Pro Edition. Maybe not uh, just a regular edition. But point is, the black the black one looks clean as fuck, man. So if it's if they do come out with it, which I feel like they, they should. I don't know why they wouldn't. Yeah. Um, it, it will be way cleaner than the white one. Yeah, I... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm going to get it regardless, even if it's white, but I'm going to be more disappointed if, like, a month later, like, here comes the black edition, bitch, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Gotcha, guys. Here comes the black one. You got to buy another one. Yeah, but I do hope they come out with the um, Spider-Man Miles Morales edition, because I'll easily cop that one, even if it looks fucking hideous. Yeah, nice, and I can get your ugly white one. Well, if it launches <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> It's not gonna launch at the same time. If uh, not, then I'm just gonna um, return the white one and <laughs> change. It. Uh, yeah. I... Plus, we still gotta talk about the ugly fucking controller. It's also white. It's fat and it's big. Boring. It's stupid. <laughs> Why the fuck are? Why? What is PlayStation doing? Man, they lucky they came out with bangers in the beginning. They opened up with this ugly shit. Oh my god. That's true. They came out with a good game so that we forgive them for this thing looking all weird and shit yeah it's uh if you look at it kind of looks like a vagina too (laughs) (laughs) okay uh definitely get monetized this video uh easy monetization kind of looks like uh if you turn upside down hey you know (laughs) don't don't do anything weird now kids um (laughs) well you won't have your you won't have your hands on this device for uh, until the holidays so it's gonna be a good good minute but um yeah i i don't know it the system is just disappointing to me i it's a hard disappointment super hard disappointment um games game reveals so far on the list that we've seen has been fire um excited for all that not excited for the ps5 look and stuff excited for the ps5 itself not the look um yeah, that's pretty much what we're saying here. Yeah, yeah. And while we're on the topic of the PS5, if you don't like the way the stupid disc cartridge look, because it looks pretty <laughs> fucking stupid, um, because it's just hanging out the side, why don't they put it in the middle so you don't see it? It's slick and it's clean. Even though it's white, it will make it like 10 times cleaner. Because like now the fucking devices, like, oddly shit it looks fucking st- i don't know i cannot get over how stupid it looks <laughs> um, uh yeah if you don't like the disc cartridge which you shouldn't because it looks stupid <laughs> but you might need to play games but if you're a digital man they have a digital only fucking ps5 digital only yeah so it doesn't have a ugly disc cartridge it's just nice Thick and span and clean, um, yeah, it, it looks uh better to me. Um, what would and this like I guess the first time we've ever heard of this. This is like first time we've seen it. I want to say I at least I've never. I don't think yeah I, I want to say this is the first time. Um, what what do you think of uh you know, like digital only kind of console? Um, I know Xbox. Uh, the Xbox One S or whatever they had the they released the digital only with no uh, thing and it was for a cheaper price too. So the I know the Xbox did do it. I guess kind of someone did it first because there came out. But then um See, yeah, that's why I didn't know about it. It's Xbox. <laughs> yeah, yeah Tazen don't fall to the Xbox like that. So <laughs> I, y'all probably not even surprised if y'all been watching the show. 
Um, y'all not surprised because y'all know taste and don't fuck with the Xbox. <laughs> Get out of here, Xbox. But yeah, they did. The Xbox did launch a digital only um console, uh, just like last year. But yeah, I mean, it definitely looks better without the um cd fucking shit unfortunately it looks better because but i am gonna get the one with the cd i think just because yeah makes more sense yeah i don't know if i have a lot of money maybe i'll get the digital one only and i'll just buy a physical and digital release but i doubt that'll happen because i don't have money please (laughs) subscribe don't need to yeah i'm trying to i'm trying to get both (laughs) The first world problem, bro. I'm trying to get both <laughs> digital and physical. I'm trying to get, yeah, I'm trying to get the digital only and the regular ass disc cartridge. Hey, or oh. Sony, you know, if you want to sponsor your boy. Send oh, yeah. Y'all want to send, uh, send four uh, PS5s this way. You know? Yeah, so yeah. We, love the, we love the system. It, there's no flaws in no it. No flaws. Bro. We love that it's white. The disc cartridge looks amazing. Um, Sony, I would sell off so quick. Come on. The... the <laughs> Controller is not big at all. It's perfectly crafted. But uh, anyways, good. yeah, um, yeah, I, digital. I think it's pretty cool. It looks cleaner, like I said already. But yeah, the only downside is obviously you would have to get all games digitally, which you would like. You might, if you're a digital person, you might think like, well, why the fuck would you not want a digital? Well, it's because like we are old. We're old gamers. We're boomer gamers. We like having the discs. We like having hard copies. Um, if our system breaks, we still have our games. Uh, it's yeah. it, I don't know. Yeah, we're we're just old boomer gamers that like to have the the physical copies, and uh, so most likely, if I were to get one, which I'm not gonna, unless they release a PS5 uh, God of War edition, which they um, will. which they will, but that's like six years down the road. Um. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna get the disc cartridge one, even though it's not the best looking. Um, yeah. Plus, with the disc cartridge one, you can always get it like games digitally too. It's just, uh, you know, for those yeah. specific games that you do want to get this like a uh, hard copy for, then you can, and you can still play your game rather than just have it and not be able to play your game. Yeah. Plus, digital only. Um. Obviously, you're gonna need an internet connection because if you yeah, don't, true. how are you gonna download games? That's true. Very true. And it's um digital is a little scary because <clears throat> if one day they decide, hey, you know what, we're not gonna have our game on that platform anymore, you could just literally lose that game. But if you have it physically, you will have it forever, and you can play for, it forever. Uh, but yeah, exactly. for yeah, digital only, it's like if hey, if we want to fucking remove this shit from that then it could happen and it's like well there goes your game yeah pretty much yeah it's uh scary and you might think oh that'll never happen but there's a few cases where that's happened already so exactly like destiny oh. 2 for um the uh, the fucking battle net launcher yeah um, yeah if you had it on there it's free now but i'm just giving an example where it was on the launcher and then now it's not anymore, so <laughs> yeah. Bye yeah, bye. Kind of sucks, but yeah. Um, yeah. just in general, just saying something like this, something like that could happen. Just so, I mean, yeah. For us old folk, we prefer the disc, even if it looks like she at the. <laughs> true, true, true. That bars. Um. All right. Uh. Well, that was the PS Five event. We kind of went over our thoughts in the beginning which is weird but that's how we do things here we do it out of out of order out of order. um i guess get a quick another quick rundown of what you thought of the whole last event um yeah what'd you think uh, another rundown um yeah uh shit yeah great event once again um love the games love everything. love pretty much everything um i guess the looks of it um Mildly disappointing, but not really either because the leaks were way uglier. So this is actually a nice leak. Bounce. <laughs> like it looks better than the leaks. So can't really complain. I guess for me, just hate the color. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same. The event was. Uh, it was good. I could have been more hyped, but um, I like 
it, it was good still like I, I still liked a lot of, like the games that was they trailered and everything um ps5 the look is disappointing but it's way better than um what the leaks were like uh clutch said the color is disappointing but i mean at least i'd rather have a bad color than a bad console design so um true, true. yeah uh other than that it was a good event um uh go check out the game trailers um whatever game trailers y'all want to go watch go watch it it's definitely hype yeah. and we're and okay if you're in- oh, yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested just and like, if you're planning on checking out all the trailers are, are ready you should just go watch the live event the um yeah the vod they have because the way the event does it is so much more hype because i'm just gonna give an example of when they um announced spider-man they didn't put the whole logo they didn't put the insomniac and um marvel logo it just went straight it just showed the playstation logo and then it went straight into the trailer so you didn't know what it was um, yeah obviously now you do because i just ruined it but um, <laughs> it's just a lot more interesting because if you just go watch the trailer i i watched it tra- i've watched the trailer like a couple times now <laughs> just because i'm so hyped um, he's that hyped <laughs> i watched the trailer on youtube and they show in the trailer they show like the insomniac logo with like the fucking old shit getting pulled by webs and like they show the marvel logo so if you were to see that if i saw that i would know instantly oh that's spider-man and obviously you clicked on the video knowing it's spider-man but yeah Yeah. i mean if you're if you're gonna watch all the trailers anyways um i would suggest just go watching the live video because you could just skip through the the fucking yeah the parts you don't want to watch it's yeah yeah um quite good just go yeah you you might as well just watch live because i mean it's like we said it was like an hour max um it it literally like like we said it was quick and to the point you literally just like they talk for like maybe like five minutes at most and then bam trailer 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 talk like two minutes about the next coming upcoming game or like what they did in the previous game and then trailer 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 like and then like clutch said like they made it like really uh like captivating like you didn't know what the game was until at the very end when they like finally put the the game name up or like obviously like halfway through the trailer like well this is fucking spider-man you know like but yeah they don't like put it in the beginning like right off the bat they always do it at the end um it's it's never worth watching and if you don't want to sit through that five minutes or two minutes of them talking just fucking double tap your screen or skip it's yeah um just watch the the live it's it's yeah. uh it's an experience so much more hype yeah 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 but and i guess the final bad. thought of um i'm just gonna say what um i watched this other ps playstation podcast awkward right um that's <laughs> not this one <laughs> cringe <laughs> cringe um because i like how they do their podcasts and we actually kind of make ours kind of like theirs not to steal their ideas but i just like how they did things and i just wanted to Whatever. Not going to get into it. This is not a QA. and a um, <laughs> Imitation is the most sincere form of flattery. <laughs> That's very true. Um, but I'm just, I'm just, um, he, the, one of the dudes in there, he said that he likes E3 because obviously E3 is dying off and people are saying it's less hype, but one of the dudes on there, there's only two dudes. So one of the dudes was like, yeah, he likes E3 because E3 is like the gamers, um, Super Bowl. If you think about it in that aspect where every year you know people wait for the super bowl or whatever as gamers at least for me back when i was younger i used to wait for e3 because i knew that was like the big fucking they announced everything you know all the big shit and all the cool games it's a little different now because there's so many game shows or so many different um conferences and shit yeah conventions and stuff so it's a little harder and you have the internet so everything just kind of shows up when they want to show it up um but yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, that's not. It's kind of sad to see E three go, but this, this is not about that. But this is about this PlayStation Five event was kind of felt like that to me. Kind of like where it was like a big event where you know you can like kind of join. You know, people are watching and and people are just as hype about it as you. And like it was kind of like our Super Bowl event, I guess, but in a smaller scale. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like we like we said in the beginning, or like before, or like I said, it there were there were like two million people watching at one yeah. point, maybe even more. Two million is just what I saw. Yeah, that, that 
It's not a small amount of people. Yeah. I know a lot of other people like stream themselves watching the stream. So if you think really think about it, it's more than two million, obviously. Because yeah, I know yeah. other like IGN and stuff, they had they streamed it too. So it's like it's a lot. It was a lot more than two million, but the official like PlayStation YouTube was two million. Yeah. So it was a uh, yeah, it was a good good little event. Um, especially something to take our minds off of what's happening around the world. Yeah. In the world, whatever. Um, it was a nice little escape for uh, an hour. But... Yeah, an hour. What I have one final final <laughs> thought. Um. There's one dude in the comments of the live chat. He was saying, Anthem 2, Anthem 2. <laughs> oh, shit, he's a homie. Yeah, so shout out to that guy, man. Shout he's a real guy. one. Yeah, who are you, man? Get, get on the cast. <laughs> get on the cast, bro. If you hear this, you're welcome to come on anytime you want. <laughs> Hashtag bring back Anthem. Yeah. Hashtag Anthem love. But yeah, I thought um, that was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That guy might have been saying that as a troll or something. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, uh, I loved it. Either way, let's get him on here and talk about it. Yeah, let's talk about it. Uh, yeah, that's that. That's pretty hype. Uh, slash funny. Uh, but yeah, um, good conference slash event slash live stream slash showing of games and such. Uh, but we got more stuff to talk about. That's not it, folks. Um, we got Mortal Shell gameplay trailer. What Mortal you think of that? Um, when I initially saw this, if you guys remember back in our pod, like fucking second podcast or some shit, this was yep. a game that I said kind of reminded me of God of War. Um, now that I see the gameplay trailer, um, it no longer does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> took a full 360 spin. Yeah, it it looks um straight up just like Dark Souls or like um Dark Souls esque. Yeah, it looks legit. Just looks like Dark Souls. So yeah, it yeah. It That's seems true. cool though. I mean, it's still cool concept i guess where you have these shells that you can hop in and out of and whatnot um yeah you can go check it out um i don't know i was actually kind of hyped for it but now i'm not so sure I'm not saying i don't like dark souls or whatever but i feel like that i feel like that kind of um gameplay got beat to death like so many people are doing that dark souls esque so i don't know just for me I'm, i feel like some i'm somewhat over it i don't know yeah yeah i feel you yeah um yeah, I forgot that was even like the God of War S game. Um, it's been a while since we even talked about it or like mentioned it. Yeah. So, but yeah, now that you say that, I remember when we when I first or we first saw the trailer. Um, I want to say cinematic trailer. Uh, yeah, I'm reminded. Yeah, like you said, minor of the God of War, which we were hyped for, and hopping in and out of bodies seemed really cool. But the part that I it was a long gameplay trailer. Um, I didn't watch all of it, I'll be honest. Um, I watched just some of it. And yeah, it was like very Dark souls esque I didn't see the like hopping into bodies part. Um, maybe I'll go back and check it out if they yeah. if they did do that. I'm pretty sure they did. But um try to go check that out again. But yeah, Dark Souls has never really been my kind of game. Um it felt like it just feels really I guess clunky, like slow. And like, cl- uh, like, uh, yeah, clunky. Like you attack really slow, or like, I don't know. It, it just doesn't feel like a fluid. I guess. Yeah, uh, I know what you mean. I, yeah, I definitely know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I like even if it's not clunky. I don't know. It just seems like clunky esque. Um, and but like this game, even I try not to like base it on like exactly like Dark Souls. And yeah. So like I kept watching, and it looks like it does seem like a little like uh, more fluid. But uh, it might be just one of those games, but I have to try it because it might be di- very different than seeing it. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to trying it, but then again, it would have to be like readily available. Like I wouldn't go out of my way to get this game or anything like that. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Dark Souls esque is kind of. Um, I thought originally I used to kind of like it, but then I actually played it, and it's a little too precisiony for me. Because I play Sekiro, and Sekiro is it's obviously really different from Dark Souls, but it's also kind of precision-y, where you kind of have to, like, hit your shots, and you can't really spam, you know? It's not like God of War. Even though it does look similar, in a sense, where you can, like, dodge 
but then like in god of war um you can kind of like spam or like or like um uh yeah you can like spam attack pretty much like you don't have to be like hit twice oh okay go back to defense hit twice go back to defense and like block and stuff you can kind of in god like you can kind of attack relentlessly without any uh super bad um repercussions because yeah in dark souls if you get hit once or twice you're pretty low and like you pretty much can only get hit like three times <laughs> before You're you dead, die. Right? Yeah. As you can tell, we are hack and slash gamers. Um Yeah, we're <laughs> yeah, big We just like mashing through everything. Uh we're not super technical, precision, calculated to the fucking T EMC squared shit. You know, we just wanna be brain dead and just click square and kill everything. Yeah, even though we're um, Asian, we hate that EMC square shit. Yeah. Fuck math. Um, it's all about English. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, seems. Uh, yeah. Uh, go go check it out. Um, this is just. These are just our thoughts. Again, we're different gamers than everyone else. Um, so go check it out for yourself. You guys might like it more than we do. Yeah, but definitely. It, we're not saying it's bad. We're just we still like like if it was, I would still try it. Like I would still try it. Yeah, so. like if yeah, if I have um this extra change and I wanted, to, yeah, I like definitely I'll play. Yeah. It. Like I wouldn't. Yeah, I'll play it. Yeah, like if it was a free demo or some shit. Yeah, and then next we got um Project Athia, which was shown in the PS5 uh event. We didn't talk about it, but it was there. Yes. Um it's also coming to PC. Oh so, so yeah, actually it's, uh, okay as much as I love the PS5, um a lot of these games when I was looking I was like man I hope that shit comes to PC <laughs> 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 just because I'm a PC gamer bro and it's yeah, just yeah, yeah. PC is so fucking convenient. Um it's easier to record, it's easier to do pretty much anything, to just switch games, or like maybe if you just want to listen to music, why well, it's just so much easier. But yeah, I'm glad this one's coming because I mean, this one looked pretty interesting. I mean, the bitch was like summoning wood and shit. She's like, yeah, yeah. Mato, you know what I'm saying? That, that was the part that got me like interested. Like, yeah, it was like, okay, yeah, trailer's okay, it's all right. And then boom, she summons a fucking tree and starts like clapping shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Damn, that's kind of hype. It's and she's the first like, hokage. Right, and then she's like flying through fucking islands or like rock to rock that are like fucking a hundred yeah. feet apart and shit. Yeah, so it look, it look pretty like the game or the cinematic or gameplay trailer, whatever the fuck it was. Look really uh cool, like yeah, yeah. It, so it does look cool. definitely nice that it's coming to PC because I know, um, obviously like Clutch said, we like we're mostly we're pretty much PC gamers now and. It's just a matter of convenience and it's storage and everything. Um, and even looks, because you can, like, fuck, if you have a decent PC, you can buff, uh, you know, you could customize the graphics it. and the grid, yeah. the frames and shit. It's just, I don't know. Yeah, That's cool. Exactly. It's just a lot of customiz- uh, customization, customizability. How they ask word? Customization. Um, yeah. And if so, you've been watching us, you know we're a fan of customizability. Oh, fucks with that shit. Yeah, we like that shit. So nice that it's coming to PC. Um, which I feel like um a lot of the, like the other games are definitely coming to PC too. That the PS5 event. Um, yeah. Not, um, just not like the exclusives, obviously. Like yeah. probably Spider Man. Um, Grand Ratchet Turismo, and, Grand Turismo, Ratchet and Boy. Clank. I think that's exclusive. Yeah, Sackboy for think, sure is exclusive. Sackboy for sure. If that should come out on PC. I'll be kind of mad. I'll be honest. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. It is a. It is a PlayStation exclusive, but the Horizon Zero Dawn, it is coming to PC um yeah. sometime this year. So, yeah. that's like the first. Which you guys would know if you watched our podcast. Yeah, so that, uh, that's pretty hype. Which yeah, I'm gonna get when it comes to PC. I'll say it straight up. Oh <laughs> shit! Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I see like um, I see games. Obviously, not all the games they announce are gonna be fucking PS5 only. Um. But yeah, that's a uh, project. Uh, 
that I'm not even yeah that's project so <laughs> that's the project <laughs> <laughs> that's the project that's coming to PC next we got God Fall not God of War Godfall. oh damn that's <laughs> Godfall is also coming to PC or on PC um this year in the Epic Store eh? exclusively damn and the Epic Store damn this game what? looks fucking lit, bro. This game looks fucking cool. People, ref- it's referred to as like a, a looter slasher. So, if you don't know what that is, and you don't know what slasher or looter means, it means you just basically <laughs> you basically yeah, kill it- people and get loot. Um, Damn. Yeah, but apparently it's only three person co op though, which kind of sucks. Oh shit. <laughs> in the gutter goes yeah i don't know why it's that i mean i'll probably end up playing it just solo or whatever because it looks too cool to not play but Mm -hmm. i really hope that three person co-op is like a typo because three person slasher co-op that shit makes no sense you want to go four so it's two two right Right? this shit makes no sense you could split do better teamwork i don't know um i'm hoping it's co-op and not what it says it is or at least they quickly come out with four player four player co op. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like like you said, it, it definitely looks cool. Like it looks interesting. Like uh, it's almost like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks interesting. I was gonna yeah, looks interesting. Um, like there's obviously it's a looter slasher, so it's gonna be like a lot of gear and shit. It was like you watch the trailer. Um, they say like you know get this. There's like a lot of weapons. Get this. Get that armor or this and that. Um, but it looked hella nice. Yeah, it looks fucking dope. Primo, primo, primo. Um, yeah. Uh, we got uh, a game that a fellow brethren has been wanting to play for a while. That we finally got free today. A and that is. Brethren. Ark. Is free. On Epic. Along with. Samurai Showdown. Neo Geo Collection. Neo Geo Collection. We talked about the, that too. Back in the podcast. Yeah, we talked about it in our other podcast. But this week. It's here now. This week. Um, here. Yeah, it's finally here. Go get it. I'm like, I'm literally as we speak. I'm like downloading our, um, free right the fuck now. So what yeah, you doing? Free right the fuck now because we probably gonna play that shit tomorrow. Um, give us a like. Give us a subscribe and get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's not that hard. Just a couple click of a button. Um, but yeah, free games. Like we said, it's free games. Like you, you're not paying shit. You just go click. Don't have to install it. It's just in your library whenever you want to play. Install yeah. it. Um, and yeah, uh, just try it with your boys. It's free. Uh, you never know. It might be the game you've been seeking for ever. And if it's not, you can blame your one friend that always wants to play it. Exactly, Ace. I yeah. mean, your friend, not our friend. Your friend. You can be like, hey, you fucking <laughs> idiot. This game is trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it better be a good game. Very good game, Ace. <laughs> but yeah, um, two new free games on Steam. Like we said, it's weekly, and we uh, I know we addressed this. I think in the last one, but I guess we'll update it. Go the ten dollar gift card or card coupon, Epic coupon, is apparently for life. Or for, for life. a long time. So if you buy a game, an eligible game that you can use with ten dollars, then or uh, with the ten dollars off, then you get another ten dollars back, or another coupon back, which you could just spend to get another ten dollars off any game that's eligible. So yeah, um, we <laughs> actually by the time you're listening to this, it's probably already over. <laughs> oh, it's over. It's not for life. Um. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, it, it, end, it ended today, but we're uploading this on Friday, so. Oh, damn, rip. Yeah, um, so, you, yeah. you guys didn't listen to our other podcast. Y'all got fucked. 
Y'all got uh, Y'all had to buy a full price now. Sucks to suck. Should have watched our other ones. <laughs> Damn scrubs. <laughs> and um, the mega sale the... is also over, so a lot of games are back at full price. So. True. True. Which won't be a problem if you had the ten dollars off. <laughs> yeah, but if you have a coupon, it's um. If you have a coupon, it's you. You can still use that coupon until November first, uh, I believe. So still valid, guys. If you have a coupon, don't you, worry. We're just talking to the people that haven't redeemed the coupon. Which, if you redeemed um, GTA when it was free back then, you should have at least one free coupon. Yeah, sure. you so. definitely should. Which again, I don't know why you wouldn't free GTA Five. As we've been talked in the beginning of the podcast, it's been on three generations. Three. Of consoles, three. So it's this. obviously big. Um, but yeah, if you got it, then you should have a free ten dollar coupon. And if you bought more games with it, you just keep getting that bitch bag. Like it's like, you know, you buy here, free ten dollars. Buy a game here, free ten dollars. Yeah. Um, which uh, wish we would have kind. Of, uh, not really. Like I wish. Well, I wish we would have find out earlier so we can tell you guys, the listeners. Yeah. Um, because we are here to uh spread news for you guys. Yeah, but, sorry, subscribers, we have failed you. Yeah, you cannot but... subscribe now, <laughs> and then resubscribe. Yeah, and then join the Patreon too. Yeah, no. Um, that. unsubscribe, resubscribe, join the Patreon. That's the order we want you guys to do things here. Um, yes. but yeah, uh, fuck. What was I gonna say? Talking about Patreon got got me all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh yeah, I don't know. That's my train of thought. You you can take it. Uh, take it for a couple <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Samurai Showdown Neo Geo Collection too. Um, it's just old samurai fighting or two D flight fighting games. So, um, if you have any rev, it's free. Fuck it. Whether you like it or not, fuck it. I don't, I don't even like it. I don't, I've never even heard of it, and I downloaded. It. I didn't download it, but I put it in my library. So, um, if you like any two D fighter, I guess. Retro Neo Geo for the Neo and Genesis console. Yeah, yeah, go still, check it out. I need it. Yeah, I still need to get that. I just got on and quickly downloaded art because we gonna play that tomorrow. But I'm gonna be sure to go get this Samurai Geo Neo Geo thing. Yeah. Um. Neo Geo Geo. It's free. Why the fuck not? Um. And once again, if you don't know, every Thursday you get a free Epic game. And the game previous, it ends every Thursday. So if you don't have the time to get ARC right now, um, just get it before Thursday. Because by the time Thursday comes around, it's going to be over and there's going to be a new game. Yeah, you technically have a full week because you'll be here. Technically a full week because you'll be hearing this tomorrow, Friday. Um, But by the time when we're talking about this, as of current, which is Thursday, you will have a week, a full ass week. Um, before the new free games comes out. Yeah, and, so, yeah. and Epic been dropping bangers. What they they dropped GTA, they dropped um the Handsome Collection, they dropped Ark, Overcooked. Yeah. I mean, these are banger of games. These are not literally these are not like low level games. These are like fucking triple A hitters. You know what I'm saying? Triple so, A hitter quitters. I don't know what y'all doing if y'all not down on these shit or putting yeah. it in your library at least. Because I know for the first couple of um. When the Epic started doing this, they had a couple like shit stuff. At least I thought was shit. I was like, bro, why don't they ever get some good shit? And then they got some good shit. Yeah, so, yeah. Y'all can't even complain. Yeah, I used to be one of those like, well, I'm not gonna play this game anyways. I don't care if it's free, but you know, ever since like ever since they started printing out some hit or quitters, shit, I've been getting on it, and it's just like it's like a a weekly at this point. It's like free game, hook me up. Yeah game hook me up you know like takes literally like three seconds um to click these two free games to put into your library plus you can download a bunch of free games and then sell your account later down the road for mag money (laughs) mad money (laughs) i'm just kidding i don't know if that's illegal don't do that (laughs) probably uh probably is but at this point like they probably have it too so i'm uh, I'm theoretically they shouldn't buy it yeah Um, that's true (laughs) But I remember what I was gonna say. Um, I I've literally forgot it as I said that. 
<laughs> Short term memory is strong today, dude. He's still it, uh, too much adrenaline. Still, it is so. strong. Too much adrenaline, man. I'm preaching too hard about these free games, dude. Preaching. Um, let's just talk about our next topic. Hopefully, it comes back around. <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> uh, all right. So next is. A uh, gameplay or like a cinematic trailer of a game that to me came the fuck out of nowhere. Never heard of it. Just popped out thin air. Surprise, called motherfucker. Werewolf. The Apocalypse Werewolf. Earth Blood. Earth what Blood. You what you think? Bro, if you're anything like me and you fucking love Werewolf, just the name of that game title, you should be hella hyped. Because when I read it, and I saw the picture of the werewolf. I was like instantly hyped. I was all like, oh, hell to the fuck. Yes. Let's go. Finally a werewolf game. I don't know where y'all been all my life. I've been waiting for a werewolf game. How has no one. There's so many fucking vampire games. But nobody has done a good werewolf game. All you do is transfer to a big wolf and fucking eat people. How hard is it? Come on. Game exactly. developers. But I, I'm so game hyped. Um, the trailer looks like trash. The game. But then I'm so hyped just because it's a werewolf. Hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, how do you feel about it? Damn, I kind of, I'm kind of the opposite. Um, well, opposite in this aspect, not, not okay. I'll tell you the part. Um, but uh, first, let me talk about the, uh, what I think. I think it was a litty, a litty titty, like just <laughs> yeah, like you said. I fucks with werewolves. Um, they cool as shit, man. Um, a game that has werewolves. Don't know what it's gonna be, but hopefully you could, you know, wreck shit up, fuck shit up, um, you know, wreak havoc. Yeah. The but I guess the little part I like that disagree with or whatever is the the trailer, the cinematic trailer or whatever. It, I thought it was kind of like the beginning was slow, like it was slow, but once you skip to like the high part, it was kind of cool. Like you just see wolves running. Um, <laughs> kind of gonna gonna spoil the fucking trailer but it's only a trailer yeah um yeah you see like uh wolves just running in the fucking uh forest they go to like this dock area ish and then they see like um tractors and shit and then um all of a sudden they go to a little spot there's a fucking big ass fucking werewolf chilling with his back to to you aka the werewolves and then they all just surround it. You think you think they're gonna gang up on it, but nope. They all just howl in harmony, like the five nations, four nations, five nations. Yeah, five because it's the avatar. Five nations. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta commit. I said five already. Uh, <laughs> like the uh, five uh, nations uh, in avatar. Uh, yeah, there's the non-menders. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You got water, fire. The avatar, earth, the avatar yeah. counts as his own nation because yeah. uh, he has he's the master. He and or she is the master of all elements. Hence, five um, unity. Anyways, yeah. Um, I don't know. I it was like kind of how do you say it? I don't know. It like I don't know. It, it looked it was nice. A cool trailer, I think. Right, right, right. Doesn't really explain what the game is gonna be, but it looked kind of cool. I think the trailer. Yeah, I okay. Oh, here's why I was disappointed in the trailer, or I thought it was lame. When I first saw the wolves running, I was like, "Oh fuck, that's the werewolves! They pulled a fucking yeah, yeah. Twilight on us, where yeah, they're just that's... big wolves, you know." So yeah. I got hella disappointed. I was gonna X out of that shit quick as fuck. Right? You know what? Let me just fucking click through to the end, and then I clicked through, and then it got to the guy where the guy turned to the a fucking a proper looking werewolf. From my I mind you, because. Let's talk about, okay, Skyrim, when I heard you could become a werewolf, I was hella hyped. And then I looked, and it's just a fucking ugly-ass looking werewolf. Oh, God, I was disappointed. Because I saw, I was like, that's not a fucking werewolf. A werewolf is jacked. It's basically the hawk, but wolf version. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, and then when I saw this werewolf transform, and he was all jacked. Like, he was basically, you know, like Venom or the hawk, but a werewolf. I was like, nah, that's what's up. So... Yeah, I, I was disappointed because I thought it, the wolves were the werewolves, but then um, obviously I was wrong. Nah, that's what's up. Yeah, um, hype for this game. Don't even know what it's about. Never <laughs> even heard of it until now. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah um yeah like we said it came out of nowhere it's, it looks pretty cool um i ho like hopefully they show game page trailer soon and it's not disappointing because it will be like cool uh, like we uh, have no no like idea at least i have no idea no would way whatever way they take it to like uh, yeah i don't know which way they're going to take this game pretty much so it's it's going to be like really cool to see or like yeah see what they do with it cuz so many directions they can go yeah i just hope it's good yeah for sure i feel you on that um yeah oh yeah. that is hype and then one one more quick gaming news and then we got something that's a little not related to gaming. Um, we got the Summer Split LCS coming oh, back that's right. today as you're watching or listening to this. Um, it's back. It's back June 12th, a.k.a. the day you're listening to this, which is tomorrow for us. Technically today because, yeah, um, yeah, whatever. Uh, it's back. Um, summer split LCS. I am hyped to watch this summer split because um, we got low key got OTSM back, and um, it's cool. It's it's just it's nice to see something competitive again. Even though NBA is uh, supposed to come back soon, right? I don't remember the date, but Wait, isn't it's supposed, it supposed to come back in July. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, okay. It is supposed to come back. I know that. So, like, like um, sports, regular sports, is, uh, like, you could be, have something to be hype about. But for me, like, when, like, um, the pandemic first hit, like, this, like, LCS was, I mean, I never really caught, like, stayed up to date super hard with, like, basketball and shit. But, um, yeah, uh, this is, like, how I live competitively. competitively um through the lcs so i'm hyped to see that to see it come back this yeah. summer and so, I'm, yeah, just... I'm just hyped to see what ads they're gonna put on there <laughs> yeah, <y 'all> <laughs> they got ads again uh they got or y'all don't know in our other podcast they're gonna put ads in uh on the rift yeah so maybe, hey, maybe we could, they could put a GGWP, you know, want a little low, put a little yeah. GGWP in there. Exactly. We'll send them an email, see what happens. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, it looks, yeah, not looks, but it's hype. I'm hyped for it tomorrow. Um, hopefully it's like right away, like again, but because they, they streamed around two, like my time, I think two or three. So, um, we'll see. But yeah, um, league or LCS comeback. So be happy for that if you watch it. And I believe our last news for the day. Last news. Netflix is coming out one piece. Oh shit, that's hype, yo. Let's one get it. piece. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that is, I, if you're not hype, I don't know why you're not hype, man. Get hype, bitches! You Get can hype. finally watch One Piece from the start to the end, and you can skip the intro. Probably we are not sure yet because it's not out. But as you're listening to this, it should be out already. Yeah, it should be out already. Um, as you're listening to this, and yeah, hopefully you can skip. It's it's One Piece, man. The biggest shonen. Biggest, the Chill. absolute freaking biggest. Um, so go give it a watch. It's gonna be hype. It's good. I mean, it's not gonna be. I mean, it is gonna be hype because latest season was OP. But it's hype. Go watch it. It's gonna be on Netflix where you can skip intro. Hopefully, yeah. And I, as you start to watch it, uh. It it's a, it was started in the '90s, so it's gonna have that '90s animation and that like '90s storytelling in the beginning. So give it a little break, all right? Yeah, give it a give break. It, yeah, give it some time to really pull you in because it it gets more modern 
animation style or anime style later on because you know i know it's like a lot like if you look at a lot of um yeah animes they used to start like shonen they used to start slow in the beginning like bleach started pretty slow um naruto was actually naruto was pretty decent actually but um yeah like i don't know one piece just i i hate to say it because people always use this against one piece but it's like give it time for it to get good because once it gets good it gets really good but i know a lot of people saying oh well if you have to give it time to get good then it's not a good anime but it's like shut the fuck up just watch it <laughs> yeah if you say that it's like okay fuck it we don't want you a part of the nakama man yeah i mean yeah but if you don't watch it, i don't give a fuck that's on you you're missing on something yeah. amazing <laughs> yeah, but... exactly. it's like <laughs> it's your own damn flag. like you miss yeah. out on a good anime go back and watch fucking uh whatever the fuck you watch probably naruto <laughs> yeah from naruto get out of here fucking you hokage scum yeah um but yeah, uh, it's yeah, it is. It's good. Go give it a oh, watch. I'm hype. I'm finally. If they have up to the latest episodes, I'm gonna finally catch up. If, <laughs> I, if, yeah, yeah, not at the most they have like. I don't. I. I don't think they're gonna. And if, if they I don't, I'm get, fucking suing Netflix, bitch. They're getting best sued. they have up to Totland, man. But I don't hey, think they're even I, gonna have that. If they could take me to Totland, I go Totland. Yeah, but you're pretty much already there anyways. I'm on Zol, bro. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Zol is literally like... Three episodes? <laughs> yeah, three or four episodes. And I then know. It's, yeah. Uh, on, just take me to Thotland, bro. Thotland. Uh, but yeah. um, That's all we got today. Um. Yeah, got a lot of today's news was mostly for the PS Five. Yeah. Um. Big event showcasing a lot of new different stuff, and just a few fodder information here and there. Um. There was a lot of games that was announced um during IGN's uh game summer games. Yeah, IGN summer games. So there, there. If you go to IGN page, they have like Mortal Shell gameplay. It's like the gameplay interview, and they have a bunch of um, uh, like yeah, a whole bunch of like um. Uh, I guess they had like their it was a summer games event, so they had a bunch of um games announced and stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm a bunch of games announced and stuff. So um, we didn't we didn't really um put too much of that stuff on we put mostly um playstation 5 event stuff just because we're, we're big playstation fans and we actually watched this event but the ign event we didn't really follow that well but yeah then, uh, yeah they, they just know they announced a bunch of stuff to ign the summer of yeah which is like yeah um we didn't yeah we didn't really keep up with uh other stuff that was happening because like like clutch that we're playstation fans so we wanted to watch that and uh which is why we don't have like a lot of info on um other games that uh the summer games whatever um we just kind of like picked a little bit that we've talked about before or like games that we want to talk about so yeah a little game here but yeah if you're interested in all uh yeah i would suggest just looking up the um the IGNs, yeah, they're summer of gaming. Yeah, yeah, but today's main podcast focus was to be about PS5 event slash live stream. Um, just in case you guys missed it or you guys don't want to watch a live stream, which is weird because you guys are listening to us talk about it for an hour pretty much, so you might as well just watch the live stream. But yeah. no, it's okay. You guys can watch us uh, <laughs> or listen to us. But yeah, um, yeah, it's meant to just talk about the PS5 event. So that's what we did. Oh, that's for sure. All right. All right. Well, we've been rambling on for a little bit long, I feel like. But uh, yeah, uh, 
we is gonna be signing off now. It's been your boy Tazen. And your boy Gakledge. And we'll see you in the next GGWP. See you. We out.